I honestly still can't believe that Dusty is boosted. She's definitely filthy, but she is definitely boosted as well. And by the way, you guys, I did actually get my roof wrap. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys probably didn't even know that. But yeah, I got my roof wrap by SNS Visuals. That boy killed it, man. As you guys can see, I went with gloss black. I didn't want to be a ricer and get a uh, carbon fiber, so I went with a gloss black. It looks really, really nice. Uh, I really like the look. And if you guys do remember, I was saying a long time ago that this roof was like really messed up with scratches and stuff. I'm guessing the owner before me in California had like a cat or a roof rack or a tree that fell and scratched the crap out the paint. And like they're really, really, really deep scratches. Like you can rub your fingernail in it. So yeah, it's came and save that. You have to sand down the, the paint, the primer, all that, and respray the whole damn car basically. So yeah, I end up getting the roof wrapped, lost black, and uh it looks really really good. But yeah, it's popping playboys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be installing some EBC brakes on Dusty. You guys are probably wondering why I went with EBC. Well, the reason why is because I really, really needed them. Like, it was ASAP type of thing. As soon as I went turbo and I started driving the car and I tried to do like a, a brake, brake boost type of thing, I noticed that the brakes just started squeaking. And I was like, what is that? And then I tried to do it again. Next thing you know, I heard. And I'm over, I'm over here thinking it's like a pebble or something. And then I took a look at the rotors and they look like this. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Nah, you guys can't. Oh, wait, wait. There you go. You guys are definitely going to see it when I take off the rotors and show you guys how they look. But yeah, bro, they started scratching like really, really bad. So that's when I said, yeah, it's time to get some brakes. I was originally going to go BBK and get some, uh, what's it called? Not the Type S brakes, but the RL brakes and get them power coated and all that stuff. But I really needed brakes like ASAP. So, so I took the cheaper route and bought me some EBC brakes. Uh, I did get the yellow stuff because the rest stuff was out of stock. And uh, from what I see online, these brakes are amazing. <laughs> Now for the rotors, I did end up getting EBC rotors as well because I, I thought about getting a uh, stop tech, but then I didn't want to pay like 250 just for some rotors. Um, so I did get the EBC rotors. Uh, I did get slotted. I didn't want drill because, you know, if you bring too much heat to a rotor, you can end up cracking it. So this is what I have right here. Got me some nice slotted ones. This material is like, this this rubs off as you break. So don't think I'm going to have a black rotor because I, I, I didn't buy rears. So obviously the rear rotor is going to stay the same but i am going to be changing out the fronts because the fronts are definitely destroyed so basically what happens is as you break this wears off and then everything turns silver and then this stays black to keep a clean look when you pop off your wheel or just to keep a clean look so it doesn't look like that it doesn't rust which i really like now this is my first time installing brakes on dusty I've been running stock pads, stock rotors since I got the car. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm, it's time for me to finally change and upgrade with something new. But yeah, so basically what you need to do this install, you guys are going to need a wire brush, a brake compressor, brake, sorry, brake disc pad, whatever you want to call it, compressor. Um, obviously EBC provides you with the black paint. And then obviously you need brakes and pads. I actually don't know the size of the bolts that's needed to take off the caliber. So as we get towards that, you know, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, man, I'm actually really, really excited to see how these yellow stuff stop. Because stock pads was not stopping Dusty at all. So yeah, let's get into it. guys now you can see what i was talking about when i said i literally had no brakes and my rotors were done if you guys could feel this right now you guys are probably like bro what were you doing with your life and if you could hear this yeah i was risking it boy but good thing we got some new brakes and rotors especially those yellow stuff i heard so much good reviews about them on how like you know good they are the stopping power 
Um, only thing I'm kind of worried about with using the yellow stuff is the brake dust. A lot of people say they do have a lot of brake dust compared to the red stuff. The red stuff apparently has no brake dust because they're uh, ceramic. I don't believe the yellow stuff are ceramic, but we're going to figure out today. Or, yeah, we have to figure out today because I have to bed them in. So, yeah, um, those two bolts that's holding the caliber in, which is, which is this one right here. And there's going to be one at the bottom. This one right here are 12s. Then there's going to be two 14s. No, actually not 14s. Is it 14? Two 17s that's holding in the whole caliber itself. If I was a way to show you guys, um, there's one bolt right here. I wish I had some more light, but you guys could kind of see it right here. And then there's one right underneath that. Remove those two bolts and this whole thing will slide out. I do think it's necessary that you guys remove both bolts, well, both sets of bolts, just so you can lubricate the top bolts, well, the two 10 to 212 bolts, because they do need to be lubricated. Um, after that, yeah, you should be set. Then you'll be able to pull out the roller. And I highly advise you to get an impact screwdriver from like Harbor Freight. I think they're like $10 life-saving thing right there bro because if you never try to remove one of these screws you guys don't know the stress it's impossible to remove it with just a screwdriver unless you like hulk or better yet god but yeah invest into one of these and you'll be very very happy that right there it's gonna come in handy boy i'm telling you man i'm telling you <laughs> all right guys so it's been a couple minutes not even minutes probably like an hour bro and for some reason my rotor is like stuck on the car um i was using the impact screwdriver and it literally just snapped on me i don't know why i won't focus on it, it literally just snapped on me and when it snapped it broke the freaking uh the screw itself so now my rotors is technically stuck on my car um i've been drilling it out and nothing so far um i'm actually giving hope giving up hope actually at least i got the first one out but the second one is like yeah drilling it out is not happening um i'm probably gonna be doing this all night sadly i really wish i wasn't doing this all night but yeah um probably have to run to like Home Depot or something and pick up like some type of tool to remove this because I need to get these brakes out because I can't drive on this Also, let me just tell you guys what to do after you get your uh, Your brake caliber holder I guess out You uh, you're gonna take off these these little clips which is sitting down like this They'll be pressed down. You just want to pop them off and then you're gonna get your wire brush You want to clean these off make them look nice and clean if you got brake cleaner, you can hit it with some brake cleaner and uh, clean them off like that. It's like every time I'm trying to work on this car, something happens and it's so like infuriating. Like it, it pisses me off because I can never just get something done. Um, yeah. So I guess what only thing I could do right now is start on the other side. Hopefully it doesn't give me trouble. I can at least get that rotor and uh, that rotor and those brake pads out, and then I'll just go back to this probably today i guess because i really need to drive this car um yeah bro make sure you get some brake lube some brake caliber grease i mean and uh you're gonna apply it to the back of right here i can show you guys i'm sorry guys it's getting so dark so fast but you're gonna apply it to the back of these caliber thingy majiggies metal, metal clips that's the thing that's what they're called and then apply some on the same surface that you're applying this and after that, you could clip those back on, put some, put some grease behind here and right here. And you should be a okay after that, unlike me. But yeah, uh, hopefully I can get this out. And yeah, hopefully I can get this out. I'm gonna go start on the passenger side, and hopefully it's not a pain in the butt. Three hours later. All right, you guys. So after a whole bunch of trial and error. I was finally able to get this stupid piece of rotor off. Dang, you guys can't even see. Take off this headlight. Take off this stupid rotor. Um, what I did is since I basically drilled it all the way out, I just gave it a good little whack. 
and uh, came straight out. So, yeah. Um, definitely a pain in the butt. Now, we can actually get, like, you know, very close to getting this, getting this thing finished, bro. Finally. Hi, babe. Hi. Alright, guys. So, I got the driver's side completed. As you guys can see, man, it looks good. Even though it's pretty dark out here, <laughs> I still can appreciate a nice, uh, brick job. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna tell you guys what you guys should do. Actually, on the passenger one, I'm gonna give you guys a full rundown because uh, the driver one, I was already doing it and I just wanted to get the driver one on since the rotor was pissing me off. So yeah, once I get the passenger side off, I'll show you guys exactly on what you're supposed to lubricate. As you guys can see, I got a, lubri I got a whole bunch of uh, brake cow grease everywhere. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what to do and how to do it, man. <laughs> if you guys can't tell, it's dark. It's like nine o'clock, almost 10 o'clock at night. It's mosquitoes. Florida mosquitoes to be in fact you know them things about the size of a nickel so yeah I'm dying send help all right you guys so caliber is off um I'm just gonna point out the things that you guys need to do by the way this is my driver's iPad see if I could get some light on it this was my driver's iPad look how terrible that is sheesh and this was my passenger pad. Terrible, you guys. Don't ever let your bricks get this bad. Unless you don't love your life. But yeah, terrible. Alright, so now I'm going to explain to you guys on what is needed to be replaced. Um, if it's in good condition, you don't have to replace it. Just clean it. So, like I was saying before, on the driver's side. See if I can get this angled right. Like I was saying before on the driver's side, these clips come off. So there's one on top and one on the bottom. I'll pull it off right now so you guys can see. So literally, if you have a flathead, you can pry, pry it up with a flathead. Or you could just take your time and slowly pry it up with your fingers like what I'm doing right now. Just make sure you don't bend it. I said bend it. That goes one. There goes the other. So these two clips are what hold the brake calibers in. Well, not the brake calibers, your actual brakes, your brake pads. So you just want to clean up these surfaces, clean up the back of it. Just make it look as brand new as you can. If you do have some brake cleaner, spray it on. As you guys can see, mine is actually in pretty good condition. So there's no need for me to replace these things. It just needs to be cleaned up with a wire brush. Uh, I'll probably hit it with some brake cleaner because these for some reason have way more uh, brake dust than the driver's side which makes no sense to me but somehow it does so I'm just gonna hit this with some brake cleaner and uh, yeah for this now you just want to clean those mating surface that had the clip on so right here and right there on top on top on bottom on bottom same goes for the other side After you guys do that, after you guys do that, make sure you put some brake caliber grease on these bolts, put on the threads, just so, you know, they don't get stuck when, whenever you're trying to change the brakes again or change the rotor. Um, you're going to get your pads as well. Get your brand new pads. And what you're going to do to your pads, you're going to apply a little bit, well, I put a lot on my driver's side just because I didn't want nothing to squeak. It depends on what you want to do, but I put a lot sometimes. So you could put a lot of uh, brake caliber grease right here on top, on this side. Go same goes for the other side. Then this is the back pad, so you don't really have to put too much on right here because you know the piston's doing all the pushing and stuff. But you do want to lubricate the whole thing so it can be smooth. On the front pad, you're going to do the same thing as the back. But this time we're gonna lubricate right here and right here because that's where it's actually gonna be making contact on the caliber. And uh, after that, you'll be good to go. Just replace everything that looks like it needs to be replaced. If I did have the hardware, I would replace them, but I don't need them because my uh, OEM stuff is actually pretty pretty good. So yeah, I get to just replace, well, I get to just, yeah, replace the pads and the rotors. 
Um, for some reason, my driver's side, I noticed it didn't come with these two clips that uh, actually just hold your brake caliber in when you're installing them. Um, it didn't come with them. It just came with one. I guess they, I, guess, I don't know. Whoever installed those OEM pads or if Honda himself, whoever dealership the guy took it to install those pads, they definitely didn't put back one of these clips. But I never had no issues with braking. I did used to hear a little slight grind and I'm guessing that's because one of these things were in there so I guess the pad was touching but uh, I'll probably go buy a little hardware, hardware kit tomorrow and just install that one, uh, that one spring just to ensure that I don't have any noise when I'm driving but it's definitely not needed. You can run it without them. Well, I won't recommend it but you can run it without one. I recommend having one on both sides if you, if you can. If you don't then you're probably just gonna have a sticky pad all right guys so it's a new day day number two and i uh, finally got everything on dusty brake pads are on rollers are on and as you guys can see they look pretty nice bro i like the aggressive look so now what we're about to do we're about to go on a little drive and uh i'm gonna test out these brakes because i do have to break the pads in and the rotors so from what i seen online uh, the way you break these pads and rotors in actually is by uh, doing an 80 mile or going up to 80 mile, 80 miles per hour, and slowly or aggressively, I believe it was, breaking down to 20 miles per hour. So um, we're gonna do some pulls, bro. We're gonna do some pulls, give some uh, aggressive driving, and yeah, hopefully break these pads in. Um, they said you had to do it twice, so yeah. Here we go. Or I guess I could do a 60, go up to 60 and break down all the way to 10 miles per hour. But I can tell you guys right now, um, the roughness I was experiencing with the OEM pads is definitely gone. Uh, it feels very, very smooth on these pads. I'm not hearing crazy amount of noise like how I was before with the OEM pads. I do need to go get that clip though because I feel like that clip does provide some, uh, you know, some resistance with the pads touching the rotors as they're driving. Right now, I only have one clip on. Well, not the clip, the spring, or whatever it's called. It looks like a paper clip. So, yeah, on the driver's side, I only have one of those on. I need to go buy another one. That's uh, crazy because I, these, these are, well, the pads before with this were OEM Honda pads and OEM Honda rotors. So, that's crazy that from the dealership that they didn't, like, they forgot to put a, uh, another retainer, retainer clip, which is, that's my boggling. Like, you would think that a dealership of you know that nature honda and california will you know have mechanics technicians actually that remember to put something so small and so simple on but as you can see braking feels pretty nice no complaints Let's see if you get a little pull right here things really do stop but what the heck sheesh it's crazy because I'm just realizing like damn I should have brought the GoPro so you guys can see what I'm looking at but and plus I plus I'd be able to, to actually uh, drive a little bit better instead of you know one-handing it but we're about to get to a little part of the city that I like which is you know the straightaways and uh, give it a little rip again. A slam on the brakes, of course. definitely be good I can smell the brake pads most definitely should be fine now but dang bro Woo, I can smell them things yeah we should be fine hopefully 
um, go drive back to the house, check them out, and uh, see what they look like. But the car is definitely stopping pretty freaking fast. So it's amazing. For some odd reason, I keep forgetting to do outros on videos. This video was made about three weeks or four weeks ago, and I forgot to do the outro. And I finally, finally had the time to edit it, and now it's being dropped today. But uh, yeah, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That install was very, very time consuming. Literally, it was supposed to take like two hours. Ended up being like six, which is crazy because it's literally just front brake, front front brake pads and uh and uh rotors. That's all. That's all I did. But I got them on, bro. EBC yellow stuff. They stop, but boy, oh boy, they make a lot of brake dust. Like a crazy amount of brake dust. But hey, I do need to stop in power now because you know Dusty moving. But sheesh, that's a lot of brake dust I be having to deal with. Like literally, the whole wheel will turn brown. It's it's crazy. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys definitely seen some pictures of that be posted on my story of my wheels, and they look terrible. But this from and off the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. Head to my site, www.zubigarage.com. Cop some merch, man. I got some fire stuff on there. And I got some new merch that's gonna be dropping pretty soon. So stay on the stay on the lookout for that. Like I'm I'm so serious, it's gonna be fire. But yeah, your boys out. Peace.